Okay, so I thought I'd do a video on HP printers uh, and how you can run them without having any internet. So this particular printer has got Wi-Fi Direct, which is common on HP printers from about 2014 onwards. So what that means is that if you have no home network or Wi-Fi network at home, if you're just relying on mobile data, like for instance with your phone or tablet or something like that, you can still print. Uh, and this applies to Windows 10 computers, Android smartphones, uh, Apple iPhones and iPads, Mac computers, and even Windows 7 computers, and also Chromebooks. So you don't need a Wi-Fi internet to use this, and I'll show you how to do it. So in the case of this, this is a brand new printer, haven't done anything to it at all yet. Um, so I need to put the new cartridges in. So you need to peel off that orange tab. So this print has never been turned on, so this is exactly what you'll get as a brand new device. So we can hear the printer starting up now. So we need to pick English, in my case. Confirm. United Kingdom. Visit this website. Right, so I'm going to ignore all of that. And do manual setup. Insert the cartridges that came with the printer. Obviously this one's purple, so that's going to go in. Slot it in and close. And the black cartridge, slot it in and close. They go in really easily. Right, when finished, close the cartridge access door to continue. I guess they mean the lid. Thank you for installing HP Instant Ink Ready cartridges. Touch OK to continue. Load unused plain white A4 or letter size paper. Okay, my paper is in. Printer is ready to begin alignment. All right, so we'll say okay to that. Okay, so that's printed that page. So now it says you must scan this page for best print quality. Lift the lid. Place this alignment page face down on the right front corner of glass, close the lid. Down to this right front corner and hit scan. So the printer has aligned, uh, been aligned successfully. The printer is now calibrated for the best possible printer quality. Recycle or discard the alignment page. So hit OK to print for your mobile device. Let's go more info, advanced settings. So I'm going to select connect later. Printer update options do not check. I'm not worried about that at this stage. I'm going to allow HP to connect collect data. Uh, I'm going to say it's home use, personal use. Confirm to print from mobile device. So I'll say OK. Okay, so now we need to go into Wi-Fi Direct, which is this button here just above my finger. So tap that, uh, and then it tells us various information. It doesn't come up with a password, so I guess we probably put it, have to put that in. So I'm going to turn on Wi-Fi Direct. So they're talking about an easy way of setting, on, uh, setting up with a network. So I still want to turn on Wi-Fi Direct, although I do have a network here, but I'm not going to use it for this. Print guide. Okay, so I've printed out this guide and it actually tells me on here the name of the printer, HP NV5000 series, and the Wi Fi password is 12345678. So let's try that. Okay, so this method works with Android 7 or later. Uh, to check what version of Android you're on, uh, click on settings and go down to the bottom where you'll see about. And then along there, you can see I've got Android 10 on this phone. Android 7 or later works. There is a fix for Android 6. You just got to do it in a slightly different way, but that's on the website. So for this device, uh, if I now go into the Google Play Store uh, and do a search for HP Print Service Plugin, you need to install that. You can see I've already installed it, and so it says open. So that's, that's installed and running. I'm going to go back to settings and I'm going to connect to the printer directly. So you can see under Wi-Fi, 
my printer will show up. I can tap on the printer. If it asks you for a password, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pop that in and then you can see that it will connect directly to the printer. So you can see this is connected. This network has no internet access, stay connected. So I'm gonna say yes, don't ask for this network and say yes, because otherwise it will disconnect and connect back to any Wi-Fi that's around. But in this case, we're demonstrating that, that there is no other Wi-Fi network. So we'll go back into that HP print service plugin, click on the three dots at the top and you've got settings. Go to discovery and manage added printers. So we can then click on the plus symbol. So how should we try to connect to your printer on a Wi-Fi network or directly to the printer? So in this case, directly to the printer. So I'm gonna hit connect. Uh, I'm gonna say allow when using the app. That's my printer. There you go, so that's connected now. So now what we need to do is find a photo. So let's go for a photo of my cat. Here we go, press the three dots near the top of the screen. And you can see that print comes up as an option. So I'm gonna tap on print. And then select a printer. You can see my printer comes up at the top there. Tap on that HP Envy. And then press the blue print icon. Uh, it says use HP print service plugin. Your document may pass through one or more servers on its way to the printer. I'm going to say OK. And you can hear it's printing out. Okay, so another thing you can do, uh, so this is a web page. Uh, I can tap on the three dots at the top. I can tap on the share icon. I've then got Chrome print showing up here. Tap on Chrome print. Again, my printer comes up at the top automatically because it's the last one I did. Uh, I can say what pages I want to use. So uh, if I expand that, you can see pages. Well, let's go for, let's go page one. And then tick that and press print. There's also an HP Smart app, which you can use as well. Uh, which is another way of doing it. And you can see here with HP Smart, if I just say I've agreed to all the information. It's already connected to my printer. Uh, let's go for view and print and allow. My photos, camera. This gives us a little bit more options. So let's pick that same photo again. Uh, and so straight away on this, the preview has come up. Uh, as it should be. Now I can play around with the settings on this, I can crop it, adjust it and so on, but that's actually print, that, that's going to do it exactly as I want. Hit print, hit allow, and then you can see I get many more options because this is the, the HP app rather than the sort of plugin, uh, and you can see that it's going to print it full screen on an A4 page. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.